Have you ever had anybody call you names? Have you ever had anybody tell you that you're worthless or that you're lazy or that you are nothing? Have you ever been judged? Have you ever been the blame of somebody's problem even though they know deep down that it's them but they don't want to take the fault. They want to blame somebody else. We all have, right? Some point in our lives, all of us have been called names and been judged and been belittled. On the flip side, I'm sure, myself included, all of us have done that to other people, called other people names, judged other people, belittled other people. So today I want to share um, two things with you on how to kind of break that cycle um, and I'm you know like I said I'm guilty of this too I've you know called names and I've judged others and I've you know hurt some people as well um, as well as being hurt and so this kind of really helps me um, and so I wanted to share it with y'all on how to you know, I've said before, I've got a problem with biting my tongue when I really need to, and it gets me in trouble every single time. So, you know, even when that person is screaming and yelling and cussing at me and calling me names, you know, my first instinct is just to fight back and get angry and Arr! But um, this reading this really helps me to realize, okay, I need to remember how I feel when that person is yelling and cussing at me and trashing me and belittling me and spreading lies about me and I need to remember how that makes me feel so if I in turn do the same do I don't do I really want to inflict that pain on somebody else and the answer is no but I know it's really really hard because when we're in that situation of somebody you know just totally judging us or you know yelling at us and cussing us out or whatever it's really hard for us to remain quiet and not say anything so here's just some tips on how to do that and I'm speaking a lot to myself because like I said I really need these life lessons to learn so here we go be the person who breaks the cycle if you are judged choose understanding if you were rejected choose acceptance if you were shamed, choose compassion. Be the person you needed when you were hurting, not the person that hurt you. Vow to be better than what broke you, to heal instead of being bitter, so you can act from your heart, not your pain. This is, I wanted to share this because this is something that like, wow, when I read this, I was like, this is what I need. Because like I said before, it's a really hard when, when you're face to face with that person or on the phone or in a situation where this person is like attacking you your first instinct is to be like oh no you didn't let me tell you some things about yourself but this is saying don't because it's just going to be a back and forth battle of you're this you're that you're this you're that and all these lies and the enemy's filling your head with all these lies that aren't even true but you're just going to start spouting them out your mouth and it's going to open up a whole can of worms that later you're just like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. And then the other person, oh, I shouldn't have said that. And it's a lot harder to take back words that are already said because it's already cut in your heart, right? Like I said, again, I'm guilty of this all the time. So this was a really big slap in the face for me of, wow, you know, instead of judging that person or instead of being bitter and angry at that person, I need to remember how I felt in a situation and just keep my mouth shut and choose compassion and understanding and love and acceptance instead. So last thing is um, life advice. Always be the best person that you can be. Be kind when you're tired, which I know is really hard to do. Um, be understanding when you are angry, which is also hard to do. Be more than you're asked and don't ask for anything in return. And don't silently expect anything in return either. Listen to when someone talks, and I mean really listen to them. Stop thinking about how you're going to reply. Tell people that you love them and you appreciate them. Go out of your way to do things for people. Be the greatest person you could possibly be, and when you mess up, make up for it in the next moment or minute or days to come. 
one thing you should never do. Never spend your time trying to prove to anybody that you are great. Your actions will speak for themselves, and we only have a limited time on this earth, so don't waste it. If someone doesn't see your light, don't worry. Like moths, good people are attracted to the flame and the light, and they will come. That was the big thing when I read it because I was like, wow, you know, there are days where I'm just, I'm still in the battle of the mind and I'm, you know, I'm still replaying things and I'm still angry or I'm so tired and I haven't slept and I've got things to do. And, but it's saying, be who you are. Like I've said before in the past, God made you who you are. And he doesn't expect you to be anybody else but you. And if you've got people telling you, well, I wish you were more like this, and I wish you were more like that, and I, I wish this about you, and I would change this about you, and why can't you be like this? Don't worry about those people. You be who you are, and you be you, and do good out there, and good will just come to you. So that's all I have for you today, and until next time, I hope y'all stay sane.